These are our ghost adventures. Okay, we hear you. We hear you, and we don't think that you're a very nice spirit because you're th you're making no noises, you're throwing But we have no fear of you. Okay? We have absolutely no fear of you. Nick, you go in there first? You want me to go in? Is that you? Making all that noise? This is the room. What room? Is that you making all the noise? Holy Oh my god! Holy Stop! Stop! Go! 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 How could we run from something that we've been trying to capture for months? There are limits beyond our own cognitive control that we cannot withstand no matter how brave you are. We may have run, but we ran with this imprinted on our film reels. I'm gonna take a look at some additional footage captured by Zach and Nick. Uh, I'm gonna give an analysis to see if it's been tampered with. All right, I've got some editing software that is used for um, uh, infrared and uh, night vision cameras and surveillance cameras that uh, allows you to pick up things that you can't see normally with the naked eye. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that right now. All right, we're going to take a look at some footage here of a brick that uh, takes flight. And here you can see it go off right here, right there. I'm going to bring up some graphics right here in a second that's going to show you of a straight line on which if the brick was launched or pulled in any way that it would have gone in a straight line. And you'll be able to see that underneath the line, you'll be able to see the brick come right here underneath the line there, kind of dipped down underneath of it right there. Here's another view of it dipped down and kind of went in an arch there. So in my opinion, that it doesn't look like it's been uh, tampered with. It looks like that uh, some something uh, threw this brick. The next thing that I visually observed is the spinning of the brick. Okay, I'm using the vector scope here to uh, enhance the video. Uh, I'm getting rid of the ambient noise or the fuzz uh, to see if there's any fishing line or rope or string or something attached to the brick, and you would see it uh, with, in, in through the video here. You would be able to see the lines of, of it, as, especially after this brick takes flight, and clearly there's nothing here. All right, one of the other things that I found on this video after I cleaned it up with the vector scope is uh, there's a board back here that you, can, you can't really see back here now, uh, but after I clean it up, you're going to be able to see this board take off from behind the brick. It kind of levitates itself up and flies to the opposite side of the brick. This board right here, um, it just goes off backwards, and uh, and the brick is going one way. And even with the vector scope, I couldn't. I, I analyzed the area with the vector scope. It's just something that's really unexplainable. I am Victor Kwong, and I uh, teach physics at UNLV. And I'm interested in taking a look at uh, some of the footage that uh, uh, presented to me in, uh, on a flying break that is kind of mysterious to me. I'm interested in finding out what uh, has happened and provide certain explanations. If there is a string, you probably can see that because you are actually using light, I mean, to follow that object. And then if you follow that object, the reflection from the, from the string can clearly be seen. With the, si with the size of that brick, uh, in order to do this without breaking, you know, the, to, to lift that brick in such a short time, that's a tremendous amount of force. So the size of the string have to be relatively large. It, can, it should be observable. <laughs> 